minus 12 this morning, minus 13, which is like 10 Fahrenheit. Hoarding for heat. And so it's pretty chilly, but we poured some round earth yesterday. And because it has water, we want to make sure that it doesn't completely freeze. A bit of a double wrap. <laughs> and these are insulated tarps? Yeah, so. We managed to maintain. It was minus 10. No, no, it's at uh, minus four. Oh, sorry, yeah, minus four. <laughs> we did go below freezing, but we did keep the temperature warmer. We'll go down here and show how we're heating it. Oh, the trenching from the new wood burner to the greenhouse is now being utilized to heat. The hoarding. This, uh, yeah. this hoarding. Yeah. So we've got a Which is actually a really smart idea. So we're utilizing what we're going to be using for to heat the greenhouse in the winter. We're going to be using, utilizing that to keep our ram earth warm. Because we're crazy Canadians. <laughs> and then I've also got the water lines kind of tucked through underneath the hoarding. So we're just getting ambient temperature in there. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today I would like to finish, the goal is to finish pouring um, columns. The goal is to finish pouring the two columns that are under the hoarding and then hoard it up again and then hopefully we can strip it all tomorrow. Yeah, so that's the idea. It's cold out. Check it out. Chicken egg, microgreens that I grew, tomatoes from the garden. Put the foam in and then the next time we put material in we go on each side equally just mm -hmm. to keep balance but the other thing we've got is this fancy jig. Mm -hmm. The hold it in place. Yeah it's like that extra set of hands that you never had. Alright, we got everything cleaned up from pouring yesterday. You see in here we've got the rammed earth just below the foam. And then the next layer is going to be a black layer. You can kind of see over here, we want to keep them somewhat aligned. Not perfect because there's going to be a window in between these ones. They won't actually connect. So in order to get started, the first thing to do is gonna 
Mix up a small layer of black, batch of black, and then we can put on the outside form. Button this up, and then we'll be coming in all the way from the top to finish it off. So this shouldn't be a problem to get done today. I'm always optimistic about getting everything done, but uh, the other thing too, I guess, is what's the temperature at? This was holding at about one degree Celsius overnight and since I've removed the hoarding you can see we're down to about minus four. Is that 18 Fahrenheit? Oh no, 22 Fahrenheit. So today is supposed to warm up. It's our last day of sun and we might actually get some snow tomorrow. But The other thing I'm gonna do is just get these tarps rolled up out of the way and I've got to, because it is so cold, I've got to throw the bucket back on and bust this up a little bit easier more so it's easier to shovel. Same with the sand. <laughs> Braving the cold. Huh? Minus five. Four. Whoa. It was just above zero in there. I didn't record it, but until I took the hoarding off. Mm -hmm. You unwrapped it this morning. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I wanted to go over was how we add the black in to the columns. It's kind of a cheater layer. So we mix all the black in here and it's a bit of a cheater layer. It only goes to the edges of the form. It doesn't go all the way through. No, it doesn't go all the way through. Just where you can see. Yeah, so it doesn't doesn't bleed, right? It's a bit of a trick, a uh, tip that I got from Clifton Schoolie. So two things that we're doing. We're using a separate mixer because it's small batches and we don't need as much. And we just place it pretty much by hand against the edge of the form. And then the other thing that, that, that helps us do is I kind of, if I do a cold joint, which means we poured yesterday and now we're starting again, that creates a cold joint. Mm. Where you oh, see the... Is that what that is? Yeah, where you see the, the heavy lines in the walls. Mm. So if I put the black in and I do a hand tap, it, it almost makes it disappear completely. So you can't see the cold joint. Okay. I like the smoother finish. Yeah. So, yeah. So starting it on a black line is good. Yeah. Probably better. You can do it with the brown, but instead of putting in like the full lift, you have to hand tap that. You're almost done. Almost. Yeah. So I'm going to mix up the black. Put in the black, close up the form, and then put in the whalers, and then start loading from the top. And then bada boom, bada bing. Are you gonna um, reveal it tonight? No, tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow we'll we'll be able to strip it tomorrow. Smith, ten percent. More like. 2%, 2.5% black. You're not going to level that off? No, I'm going to go. <laughs> I want it to be black, so that's okay. <laughs> Okay, there goes the black. Whoa. We left our GoPro outside last night, so we have to use this little camera. You can see I'm just putting just a little bit, right? Yeah. Just a little swoosh. Yeah. Cool. And then you can manipulate it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm also trying to keep the aggregates out because I like this to be more yeah, smooth. Sand, I mean, more sandy. Mm -hmm. Maybe it pops a bit better. Yeah, totally. You're so artistic. You think so? Yeah. I didn't think so.
Yeah, I could probably mix even a smaller batch. Do you have extra? You really don't need much to get that effect. So. Mm -hmm. I like the smaller black lines better. Yeah. I don't understand what you mean about just putting it along the outside. Okay, so it's not like, it's not a full layer. Like oh, a, you're pushing it to the edges. Yeah. Okay. Here. Right, so it doesn't have to be, like there can be some all the way through, but it's more just focusing on what you're going to see, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's advice given to me uh, on how to deal with black because cool. black is a tricky one. Yeah. But I think it's totally worth it. It takes more time, I think, but every time I'm doing the black, I'm putting in the black. I'm like, ah, oh, the black because it, it slows the rhythm. Mm -hmm. And then once I take off the form, totally worth it. it I find that it really gives a uh, definition to the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, it totally does. It gives mm -hmm. the eye something to look at. Mm -hmm. Breaks it up. Yeah. Next time on the Thai Life, we had our first big snow last night. A lot of snow. Yeah, it might snow like a millimeter. We got two and a half inches.